I, in the I, building. I, I the street the executives. George Musselbach. DJ, DJ, DJ. Technique. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Young Brinky, and tuning in to the number one music and entertainment TV show in Memphis and the Mid South. I'm talking about Brink TV. Now, joining me is an OG in the game. I'm talking about veteran, big homie, Frazier Boy. What's happening with you, Mike? What's happening, my brother? What's going on? Hey, of course, I got to say thank you for coming on the show. It means a lot to us man, here. Thank you for having me, man. You already know it's honor. We go back, bro. Hey, believe that, believe that. Yeah. Now, you did mention we go back, man. I'm going to talk about the first time I saw you performing. This was 2005. I think it was Frazier High School. They yeah. was doing the citywide talent shows yeah, yeah, back in the yeah. day. You know, I think it was the homie Jay Bizzle. Mm -hmm. And you was performing and rocking. You was like, man, you was putting emphasis on it. Man, I used to go to this school, man. Frazier High School, go. man. Alumni, don't play with it. Yeah, I'm Frazier that. boy, man. You yeah. know I wasn't Frazier. I believe that. Believe that. That was so. <laughs> if you say so. I'm not Frazier, you must never been to Frazier. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm the epiphany of the bait. Believe so, that. All the way down. Most deaf, most deaf. Now go ahead and tell the people, like, how long you been doing music, man? Man, I've been I've been in about I say 12, 13 years now. Okay. Still okay. rolling, man. Okay. So coming up, like who you had in your headphones, who you were bumping? Of course, man. I what what made me know I can do this, just listening to A Ball MJG. Of Definitely. course, Three Six Mafia, uh, let me see, Gangsta Pat, Al Capone, right. you know what I'm saying? And Spanish Fly, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That, the Memphis Jinx. Yeah, yeah, believe that, believe that. Now, the first album that we bumped, man, we talking about Gone on That Bay, super classic. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did that whole thing come about? Because, I mean, Three Six Mafia, Frazier Boy, like, just super tank. Man, when I approached the album, I, I, just, I just did what I know, man. And I just took some of my experiences, people I know experiences, and just put it in the song mode, man, and it came out like that, man. Still banging. I still hear stories about that album, man, every day today. Right. So they let right. me know that it's a real classic. Believe that, yeah. believe that. Now, another thing that the people know you for, that you can't escape, I'm talking about you an Oscar winner. Right, right, correct, man. That's a, it's, just, it's still crazy. Yeah. 10 years later that you are saying that I'm an Oscar winner. Right, right. Man, coming from where I'm from, that's, yeah. a, that's an unheard of thing, man. A lot of a lot of my homies dead or in jail, so just for me to represent it in that way, man, that's, that's a blessing. That's and a blessing. like you say, you are Mr. It's Hard Out Here Mr. For It's Hard Out Here For A Pimp, man. If you don't know, I wrote the song title and the lyrics. To his heart out here for a pimp. Yeah, yeah. Now, if I can, let's 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 take it back to that night. You know, I want to talk okay. about what was going on in Memphis, and then we go talk about where you, where you guys was at that okay. night. Now, in okay. Memphis, if I could take y'all back, I'm in the premiere. You know, the homie <laughs> Yo guy that was performing, and Young Jock just came out. He was okay. performing. You know, uh, it's going down. I know you see it all this stuff. So after the performance, I can remember the DJ getting on the microphone saying, "Hey, we got good news, y'all. Three Six Mafia just won an Oscar," and the whole <laughs> club went. Crazy, man! You remember the premiere? Crazy. They used to have yeah, a bouncing yeah, flow. Yeah. It, it felt like the flow was okay. Man, them folks was going <laughs> in. So tell me about that night man. from your perspective. I, like I like I was telling you a minute ago, it felt like I felt I felt the earth shake. Yeah, like it, yeah. like everybody jumped up and landed down at the same time. Yeah. Turn. It, that experience, man, like I say, it's still unbelievable. Like I say, while I was there, it just, it felt like a dream or right, something. Right. It felt like a dream. I don't know if y'all noticed I had on some shades on my performance. Man, behind them shades, my eye was buck wide, wow. man. But you, I still played it all cool, but of course I was nervous as hell. That's the Oscars, man. I'm like, I'm from Greenbrae, yeah. Frazier, yeah. Bay Area. Yeah. What I'm doing at the Oscars, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But man, I, 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 it was just, I don't know, man. Sometimes yeah. I still got to pinch myself. Yeah, yeah. And I tell the people, yeah. where is the Oscar now, man? Well, the Oscar is on display right now at the Memphis Museum Hall of Fame. Okay. That's downtown, hooked onto the Hard Rock on the backside of the Hard Rock. It's on display. So you can go see, man, go see the Oscar. I ain't going to say you go see. Please go see the Oscar, man. If you've never seen the Oscar in real life, it's a big 
gold, it's like a gold bar. Yeah. Carved into the Oscar. Yeah. So yeah. it's real gold, man, and it's heavy as hell. It's yeah. 10 pounds. Yeah. Man, you a history, Michael, man. man I know, man. You That's crazy, history, man. Right? It's crazy. It's a blessing, man. Yeah. Like, Thank, thank the man above, man. It's a blessing, man. Believe it, like man. I say, a lot of my homies ain't here. You right, you yeah. right, you right. Now let's talk about the new project you gonna be coming out sometime okay. next year. So go ahead and tell the people okay. what it's gonna be called. Um, my new project, new album, is gonna be called "The Year of the Underdog." Okay. And I just feel like it's the year of the underdog. I feel like I'm the underdog in some way. Yeah. Even though I've been in the game a minute, but. I still feel like I'm slept on in a lot of areas and on a lot of people. Right. So it's just time to wake them up, man. Mr. Okay. Alarm Clock, man. Okay. Now, what would you say would be the lead single off this project? Um, I just shot a video prior two days ago. Okay. It's called Dock of the Bay. Definitely, definitely. It's gonna be a crazy record, man. It's featuring Lil White, yeah. Ashton Riker, and uh, Andrew Sino produced it. Man, that song got so much crossover appeal, yeah. man. I think it's going to shoot you, like, into orbit. Man, I'm telling you, another, you know. when y'all hear this song, man, y'all going it, to, it's kind of different from what I'm usually doing. Mm -hmm. So I, I just felt like it was time for this record. And I've been wanting to make this song, Dock of the Bay. You know I'm from the Bay. Of course. So right. I've been wanting to do this song since I started my career, and right. I just finally found the right people right. to do it. Right. And man, it came out amazing. We shot just shot the visual for it two days ago, man. Yeah. So y'all be seeing it real soon. Most definitely, most yeah. definitely. Y'all be tuning in for that. Matter of fact, we probably gonna have to play it on yeah, the yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, so as yeah, soon as y'all get it, sure. we gonna play it on I the I got show. to let y'all hear it, man. I'm, I'm very happy with this record, but yeah. that's gonna be the lead and single off you at Underdog. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. And we can expect that probably like sometime the spring. Uh, spring, fall of next year, 2017. Okay, okay. that's Going what's up. down, yeah. That's what's up. Now, let me ask you this question. I like to ask a lot of artist is how do you feel about the current state of Memphis music as far as hip-hop go well it, it's still going strong I think it's just the artist just divided yeah, yeah. It, the music still here yeah I think it's just the artist just divided I think we we need to work with each other more right just like other cities do and, and have each other back on certain things but I know everybody busy and I can only just speak for me, mm -hmm. but it can be stronger if right. the people be stronger and, and be together on everything we're trying to do and everybody support each other because right. it's a lot of separation with just different artists and I think it, we can we can do better at it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just being real. Let's talk about the movie, man. We was chopping up about the movie earlier. Okay. Take uh, me to the yeah, river. yeah, yeah. Um, I have a movie out now called uh, Take Me to the River. Well, it's a documentary, mm -hmm. documentary right. about... Um, the Stacks mm -hmm. uh, era uh, artists, you know, William Bell and, you know, uh, your oldest Reggie, your Bobby Blue Band. Right, right. Man, I'm telling you, it's crazy. And we collided, and, and Memphis hip hop artists yeah. of today. Right, right. We collided and made new music on film. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yo, God is in it. Yeah. He collaborated with Bobby Blue Band before oh, he died. Oh, my. Of course, I'm in it. Yeah. I collaborated with Bobby Rush. Yeah. A Ball and MJG collaborated yeah. with the Bar Case. Oh, Al Capone man. collaborated with Booker T and the MG. Yeah, yeah. Lil Peanuts in it. Yeah. Uh, he collaborated with Otis, the late Otis Clay. Okay. Um, Snoop Dogg was in it. What? He collaborated with uh, William Bell. Okay. A lot of people don't understand why Snoop Dogg in it. Snoop Dogg family is from Mississippi, right. so that's, yeah. he, he got tied yeah. roots to the Mississippi right. Delta. So. Right, right. Terrence Howard is narrated. Wow. It's, it's a, we already won nine awards for it. We've yep. been all over the country. We've been out of the country. And uh, we already got a 50 city tour book for 2017, 2017. already oh. solidified. So it's, it's just, and it's on Netflix right now. Take me to the river. I'm telling you, you got to see this piece of work. I am so glad to be a part of it. You know what you I'm know, saying? I might have to just go on here yeah. and become a Netflix subscriber just so you I can see to. this project. You got to, man. man. I have you to. got to, man. I'm to. telling you, it's an amazing piece of work. And I'm just, like I said, I'm glad to be a part of that. Believe that. They're believe working that. on uh, Take Me to the Rivers, New Orleans now. Okay. But okay. right now, Netflix, Take Me to the River, check that out. It will not let you down. Believe that. Go ahead, give them all your social media. That way they can keep up with you. Okay, uh, you can get me on IG at Fraser Bizzle, F R A Y S E R B I Z Z L E. Fraser Boy on Twitter. Um, Snapchat Fraser Bizzle, same thing. Mm -hmm. Get at your boy. Now, if it's an art, aspiring artist out there and they think about giving up, what advice would you have for them? Be yourself. Don't follow no trends because trends play out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be yourself, gen gen being genuine to yourself, it goes a long way. Believe Just it. stay doing you, don't 
Don't worry about what's going on in the left line. You yeah. stay in your line and do you. And it, you, uh, you. I think you'll achieve longevity that way. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Just other than following trends and doing what you hear the next man or female doing. So right. just do you. That's what's up. Of course, I got to say once again, thanks for being on the man, show. Man, it's an honor, man. You know I had to come hey, out. We had you. to. Had to. Man, you know that. how we rock, man. Believe that. Yeah. With that being said, now back to more Brink TV. Yeah.